Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well today. So someone in one of the videos asked me to make this video on charting. And that's what we'll be looking at in just a few minutes. So how do you work with charts in Microsoft Office Word? You go to insert, click on chart, select the chart you want. Maybe it's the column chart, it's the 2D bar chart, there, there are also the 3D options, there's a line chart, and just get the chart you want. Once you've selected that chart, you can double click the chart. Now when you double click the chart, you will see Excel. It pops up just automatically and that's because you work with the tables in Excel and then it gets automatically updated in MS Word. And so just so that you can see what is happening, I'm going to shift Excel to the right and I'm going to put Word by the left so that you can see the modifications we are making um, to the on the Excel sheet. We'll make some modifications and then you'll see the modifications in real time on the Word document. So I'm going to I'm going to zoom in. Now, the first thing is this. For this data, I just want to assume, and again, this data is by no means, of course, this is even, this is data that was previewed. So I'm just going to assume that we want to talk about boys and girls, and we want to look at the average, I don't know, average, average something <laughs> about boys and girls, right? I know now, because by looking at this place, I know that this is one category, another category, this is another category. And all we just want to see is what's the average, whatever, um, of between boys and girls in 1994, 1995, 96, 97. And I want to do it in two ways. I'm just going to edit the first one, which is 1994 here. And once I click out of that, did you notice it here? it got changed to 1994. So now let's assume that I already know ahead of time that I'm talking about boys and girls. And so I come here, I change this to boys. I click on this, I change it to girls. Just by the way, what I'm doing is just to click once and then I type. That's what I'm doing. And so for this one, because I don't need this column, I'm going to look for this arrow. Once you see this arrow, you should right click. Once you right click, hit the delete button. It gets rid of that particular column. And as you can see here, we now have two things we are, com um, we are, we are comparing, boys, girls. But we also have other things. And so what I want to show you is, what happens if you have another Excel document where you already have your data? So I'm going to create a new Excel um, workbook and I'm going to have that sheet here. And by the way, I, you won't watch me type all this stuff. I'm just going to edit this in the interest of time. I'll copy this over to this other Excel workbook I just created and let me just put this here to cover the MS Word. So here I'm going to edit now. This is 1994. This is 1995. And one trick about um, Excel is that I can just ask it to fill these remaining columns for me, um, the rows for me. And once I double click this, and this is not an Excel tutorial, but maybe I can just show you that um, so you understand the trick for your own use. If you click on this one, the first one, which is 1994. Now, if you double click this, it just replicates 1994. But if you want it to fill the series, 1994, 1995, 1996, 1997, you want to do that automatically. Click on the first one, hold down the shift button, the shift key on the keyboard and press 1995 and double click. It feels, it completes the series for you. So let's say I'm done with this. This is the data I have. 
I will just copy this and I'll paste it here. And so let me just minimize this so you can see what hap what's happening here. Once I paste it, you can see it has edited everything. And so let's say that it's I'm dealing with percentages. Um, one thing I can do again here is to select any column I want to modify and just keep an eye on these measures. Once I hit the percent, as you can see, it makes it, it turns it into percentage. All right, so what again can we do here? As you can see, the chart title isn't, doesn't really make any sense. So let's say that we want to change the chart title. What we can do is to double click on that title, the chart title, and you edit it. So percentage, um, av the, the average percent between boys and girls. Let me close this up so that you can see what I'm typing. All right, so that's pretty much about it. So, you, you know, a few questions you might ask is, so how can I modify this? You can uh, modify it this way. If you want it to retain the skill, you can right click and maybe we'll do this in another video. But for now, just know that this is how you can change um, the data you have in your chart. I hope this was helpful and please let me know in the comment section what else you would like to know about working with chart. And of course, would in the next video do some more things um, on chart. See you in the next one. Bye.